So the ID has been created, but it is not visible. That is yes. H2. Let's first see the ID again. So this is the ID and info type is also maintained for this one. Communication and So TRNE 06 is maintained. So with this, it should be associated with the business partner. Let's confirm it is there or not again. So it is not associated with the business partner, otherwise business partner yes. information would be here. So what we will do, we'll go and check the, uh, we'll, we'll try to manually trigger it. So I want to check that what issue happened when the system tried to trigger, there, there is something which is not correct. So that what we can do, we will try to check there's a manual programs and transaction codes are there. So for that, I need to go into the personal management and into uh, SAPS for, uh, for human resources, synchronization. So here we'll get the uh, program. Which I didn't. I didn't touch this area because I guess I thought this is the one-time configuration. Yeah. So this is what I have shown you that what configuration need to be there in place. And uh, here, basically, what I, I go to this document is nothing we need to do here. Or oh, actually, some config. Have you done this configuration which I have told you? No, no, I didn't go there. Oh. Because this is, I guess, this is a one-time configuration. This is, sorry? This is a one-time configuration or uh, every user has to do that? No, no, every, uh, not, not every user, but every new uh, enterprise structure uh, need to do that because we need to put the reconciliation accounts, uh, these things. Well, that I did. Reconciliation I, account I did. What is your uh, personal area? NY00, NY0, this one, yes. NY00. So one thing is that this is missing here. Personal group is missing here. So this might have given you error when you are creating your HR mini master. So let me put this NY00. Configuration. And then other this this reconciliation account will also change. That I did, yes. So NY00, you have reconciliation account. Okay. So that is there. Now, now I will try to check if we create it manually. So here you can see here that uh, you can run the report this one to manually do the sync. So we'll try to manually do the sync with this report. Okay. So the personal number is 15, 15, right? Yes. 15, I want to sync, I will execute it. This is it is process, check the logs. So first thing I will do, I will again display the user. It's created. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. The okay. Another issue can be uh, one more thing I have seen that um, sometimes it does not get created. There can be some date issues. Sometimes okay. The date is in future or date is in past because of the time zone. Yes. Yes. 
your time zone and the system time zone it consider let's say if you have created an employee which is activated from tomorrow mm -hmm. today if you have created hr mini master it will not create a business partner today so these are the bad job runs we put it which would be uh, we need to put it uh, every daily basis so whatever the new mini masters are coming it will be converted into the business partners oh, okay okay so now the business partner is there let's check this business partner okay it looks like we have let me go to identification ID. yeah employee id is linked here yeah and let me also check the employee role created username is trna user perfect now you would be able to access uh, all of the new functionalities which we have in mm side. yes yes Your service procurement and all the other things you'll be able to use it thank you very much sir sure no problem. and it was a great learning <laughs> thank you believe thank you, Amar. thank you very much okay thank you Amar. we'll see we'll continue to see you thank you sure sure thank you thank you thank you sir thank you